Torador versus the Stromberg. I wanted to do it a little bit different this time, and we're gonna do just that right after you guys fix your post notification bell, like and subscribe. Let's keep it moving. Hey man, this Torador or Torador, y'all know I be mispronouncing it. It don't matter, man. For 3.66 million dollars, you need to get it, man. It is absolutely outstanding. Look at the liveries. The liveries just make it even more dope than it already is. I mean, listen, we're gonna dive into it and compare it up against the Stromberg. Which, matter of fact, let's take a look at it right now. Oh yeah, for $3.16 million, I like this one too, I can't even front, it's the old school one, but it ain't got no liveries, like our old boy over there, the dope livery squad, you know what I'm saying, let's roll them out, whoo, look at that man, wow, man, just look at that, a four door Lamborghini, where the hell they do that at, I ain't never seen that before. You know what? And there's a reason why I ain't never seen that before. Because they only did it one time before. Back in 1967, some freelance designer by the name of Marcello Gandini. And he's a guy, he went around and freelanced a whole bunch of cars for a whole bunch of exotic manufacturers over his career. But nevertheless, man, this thing looks great. I love it, man. Just everything about it. The sleek design. We have no clue what's under the hood. They won't even let us open the damn hood on the car. Go figure. But uh, the inside, man, look, it really takes me back to my childhood. I should have known. Just look at the wood grain paneling on a Lamborghini. Two things you ain't going to see ever on a Lamborghini. Uh, wood grain paneling and four doors. Like, what the hell is that? But it just looks so, so old school, but yet dope, right? Rockstar does a great job of going back and grabbing these cars that a lot of times we never even really thought of and bringing them back to life, man. Shout out to you, Rockstar. Star, I'll give you credit for that. Hey, it would be nice though if you would give us the real names of these cars, but hey, let's roll out the Stromberg. I mean, listen, I like this car, love the way she looks and everything, but I have no idea what she is in real life. Couldn't find it anywhere. Some of you gearheads, let me know down below in the comment section. What is the name of this car in real life? I sure would like to know. But as far as GTA goes, man, this car, there was a time where the Stromberg could take up to five rockets. Are you kidding me? Hey, let me know that also down below in the comment section. If you remember the times and the days where the Strombergs could take up to five rockets, definitely let us know that down down below. There was a point in time where the Stromberg was one of the more OP vehicles. I don't think so anymore. Let's take him for a road test, shall we? Hey, can the Torado drift? Nope, but she got that booze. Man, you notice at the bottom left corner, you got a meter. And guess what? She fills up fast as hell. That is so amazing, man. And that unconsequently takes us to our first test that I didn't even know I was doing, which was the tank test. I mean, good girl. Gracious, I damn near killed myself. But as I get out the car, I notice I didn't feel it in my joystick or anything. And I look at the front of the car, man, it is pretty much intact. We gotta check that out with the Strongbird, man. Can she do the same thing? Bam! I hit this little Range Rover. I kind of felt it, if that makes sense. It didn't feel the same. Now, there's no damage as far as, you know, uh, <laughs> there's damage to me. But there's no real damage to the car, just like on the Torado, but whatever. Now for the weapons check, let's toggle through missiles, home, and machine gun. Let's check out the machine gun. Ba -ba -ra -ta -ta. Ooh, I love that. As for the Stromberg, she got the same deal. Cool. All right, you both get A pluses on that. But I can't get over the damn boost, man. Oh my god. And did I mention how fast it fills up? As for the Stromberg, yeah. She got good handling. <laughs> Let's check out first person mode, man. Man, look at the gauges. Look at how it looks on the inside. You know I look. Oh, she's a tank. And then I, we have lift off. Oh my goodness. And it ain't over. Wait a minute. Bow, 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 bow. Bam. <laughs> As for the Stromberg, uh, I can't see how fast I'm going. That's very disappointing. Jesus. Did I mention we can take lift off? I meant we can take fly. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm coming down. But wait a minute. Let's see what we can do. Hit it again. Damn. Uh, I can get in the water and I can hit my little right on the D pad. I'm so over the Stromberg already. You know what I mean? Did I mention we take a flight, baby? Hold on. Let's see how we land this. Everybody get ready to rate me. Rate me. Get ready to rate me. Rate me. And, uh. I mean, come on. Tens? No? As far as getting in the water, man. She's like a little dolphin, man. She just bursts into the water. You got sonar on the car just like the submarine. And you're going to approach the sub fast as hell in the water because of that 
boost and you can check out that video scrolling across the top to find out if you can actually store the Teredo inside of the submarine as for the Stromberg she's slow as hell in the water enough said you can exit both vehicles inside of the water without destroying the vehicle so that's pretty cool just keep in mind that if you do happen to destroy the Torador that it is $20,000 to replace it through Moore's Mutual I believe it's the same amount for the Stromberg somebody can let me know down in the comment section below how much is it to replace a destroyed Stromberg as far as my opinion on both of these vehicles Hey guys, I don't think it's any question. Just for a few extra hundred thousand dollars, get yourself the Torador. Hey, all the things that you see on the screen, I do that right here on the channel. So make sure you like and subscribe, fix that post notification bell, and I'll see you at the very next video right now.